Hello everybody, this is Dean and here's a circular breathing guide. So, circular breathing. First, we're gonna start with the straw and a cup of water. The goal is to be able to blow bubbles continuously without stopping. So like this. So here's a here's the three parts of doing this. So first, you need to take the air from your lungs and straight up blow in the straw like. Next step, you need to puff your cheeks out like this, and you only need to use the air that you put in your cheeks, and the air needs to go out like that. But you want it to go out at an even pace, so. So I go from, so the first part was just me using the air for my lungs and I put the air in my cheek and I, I brought it in. So now we're just going to use the air from our cheeks and we're going to blow in. So I'm only using the air for my cheeks now. So now the next step, you need to do this while you're also inhaling through your nose. So, so then in at the same time, I hope you can hear my my nose that my me inhaling. So now, let's transfer that to the bubbles in the water. And here is a secret, super secret trick for making this a little bit easier. Pinch the straw so there is less space in the hole. So if I don't pinch it at all, it's regular. If I pinch it, I cut off some of the space. But don't completely all the way pinch it. Just pinch it a little bit slightly, and you should have an easier time uh, using the cheek air. So I'm gonna do cheeks and inhaling at the same time. So I'll keep doing that a few times. Cheeks and inhale at the same time. <laughs> And now, here's um here's the next step. This is one of the harder steps. It's going from using the cheek air to your lung air. So we're gonna push out, push in with the cheeks, <clears throat> inhale at the same time. <clears throat> and while, after you get the quick inhale in, your cheeks still need to be pushing out the air. So. So, and while your cheeks are pushing the air out like this, you need the lung air to switch. So you need to push the lung air while your cheek air is going out. So, so try this, try using your cheeks and try also blowing with your lungs at the same time. So, and at the same time. I'm gonna do that with the straw. Make sure it's pinched, make it easier. There's too much water to bubble. Maybe I should just put the cap on. So. So I'm not inhaling right now. I'm just focusing on combining the two different air streams from my cheek and from my lungs at the same time. And 
and it's a good technique just to try using the air from your lungs and puffing out your cheeks at the same time without pushing in. Do this. Now, this is the last step, really. So now you want to combine your cheeks and inhaling at the same time. And you want to keep, you're going to inhale fast. So you want your cheeks to keep pushing out. And while you take that air you just inhaled, you transfer to your lung air at the same time. So. Set an alarm for 8.29. Okay, your alarm's... Set an alarm for 9.29. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. So here's the three steps. You need your air from your lungs. You need the air from your cheeks while your lungs are pushing out. But that's step two. And you need the inhale at the same time while you're puffing your cheeks in. Do it. So, you want to really focus on transferring the air from the nose to the nose to the lung air, the main air, the side air to the main air. And realistically, when you're able to do this, you can circular breathe without actually using this. You can just do it like I am now. The goal is you want the air from your lungs and the air from your cheeks to go at the same rate. So the sound will be even on the instrument. So. So you want the rate of the bubbles to be the same too. And here is the, the fourth step I use. For I normally when I circular breathe, after doing it for a while without taking a regular breath, you don't really get the exhale. Like when do you get the exhale? Like, yeah, I'm exhaling when the air is pushing out, but there's still a lot of pressure that builds up in my nose. So, I, I would recommend doing this after you get the basic three steps, air from the lungs, flowing, the cheeks, and breathing, and transferring the air at the same time. This is the next part. So, I often exhale through my nose before I inhale while my cheeks are pushing in. So... And I do this a lot because it just relieves that pressure. So basically, I'm pushing in through the cheeks and, it, and I exhale really quickly before I inhale. So I was, you hear that? So I hope that makes a little bit sense, but Focus on the cheeks, the transferring the air from nose, from lungs is the most important part. But also, same time. So I'm gonna do this. I can probably do this for hours, honestly. And if you want a challenge, you could probably use two straws. 
and that means more air is leaving faster there's no resistance if you squeeze the straw there's more resistance and it makes it easier for you to focus so i would highly recommend pinching it because the pressure is higher and you have more time to think about and inhaling at the same time then transferring your air now there's a challenge two straws And yeah, after you get the first part of circular breathing down, I would try adding straws. And that really challenges, you gotta be really quick with the inhale and the cheeks, it has to be fast. And so the next part of this, I'll be on my saxophone. And here's the thing about playing circular breathing. Yeah, it might take some time to, to do. Like I personally started into my ninth grade year and I got the basics I was able to learn on my saxophone I just started doing the bubbles and I happened to quit trying to circular breathe for a small amount of time then I went to my saxophone and I was able to do it then it just and like Kenny G in his video he says yeah after you get the cheek part um, then wait 10 years and then you'll be able to circular breathe or something like that. That That is nonsense. If you really wanted to, you can get this down really well in the month. You could probably learn how to circular breathe in the week if you if you put enough time. You just gotta believe in yourself, honestly. It's 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 the, the process from transferring the air from your nose to pushing out is the most important part, but it also takes the most time. And another thing is you're not going to be able to perform immediately with circular breathing because your your cheeks got to get used to evening out the air because you'll see once you're able to do it on your instrument and Gotta like make the air consistent. So if you wanted to learn a piece in a month and you have to circular breathe on it, it's possible if you put enough time in. But it is difficult. But I don't really practice circular breathing. Honestly, I just do it all the time when I'm playing. I guess that counts as practicing. But you really could um, set time apart and just focus on it with the notes keeping I will focus on trying to keep it in the tone even because you're gonna see when you start playing the tone is gonna be sucky it's gonna be trash and you're gonna want to have to fix that and it's gonna be impractical to use it first but always keep trying to do it um and you know that one dude playing the Paganini 5 on saxophone circular breathing and double tonguing so I have not figured out how to circular breathe and double tongue the same time but I can circuit breathe and tongue at the same time essentially you're just doing the same thing but your air kind of stops when your tongue hits the reed so you just gotta get that air going so I can I can do it on here so for that you really got to get your tongue you really gotta get your circuit breathing really fast and you gotta <clears throat> all right so after you're done with the blowing bubbles in the water with the water cup now time to move on to like for saxophone the saxophone neck or a barrel or a barrel whatever the next small instrument player is just something that doesn't need as much air. So with this, I can just... So, first, focus on the cheeks. Just, just use the cheek air. Right now, I'm only puffing out my cheeks and pushing in side with the cheeks. Do this a couple times. Step 
breath, which is inhaling through the nose. And now, then, after you do that a couple of times, you get used to that, you're going to want to start blowing in with your lung air, then puffing out your cheek. So all I did was puff out my cheeks. I didn't push that air in. Now you want to use that cheap air and push in while you're using your lungs. Right now I'm just starting with my cheeks out, inhaling and trying to transfer the air. Just puffing cheeks first. I'm not using my base air, I'm using my cheek air. So Listen to this. Then listen to this. Now the goal is to keep those two sounds the same while you're circular breathing. Do it easy now, like see. Then there's tonguing. 
Yeah. Circular breathing is impressive. It's a really good tool for impressing people. But there are there are its side effects. Another thing is when you're circular breathing and it's a soft passage, that inhaling noise, you'll hear that the whole time on the recording. You're like and especially if you exhale and inhale like me, done. So that's also another thing to worry about. So you could be playing like a low note and circular breathing and then you hear that sniff and it just ruins it. So there is a way to work on that. You would have to work on the noise. Just, or you would have to work on the noise that you're inhaling, you're exhaling. And that is something you could work on, but there's also a limit. And it's it's a difficult I don't really I haven't really circular breathed on autism notes, but usually like above an E, I won't circular breathe on that because it because the pressure goes to wag and it's really easy to squeak. Your pressure's not rounded because your air is like this and then note squeak. So you can't really circular breathe above an E unless you really focus on fixing your armature, which is something I might experience um, for circular breathing. And it's it's difficult to circular breathe on lower notes too because um, you have to have good air support and air pressure. But it definitely is possible. And also, basically circular breathing is not completely um, discovered yet. There's people double tonguing in circular breathing. Um, you probably can't use the syllables taka taka or tihi or those. You might have to use tu hu, hu hu, tu hu. Why are you doing it? Why you're um, double tonguing or something? I, I haven't tried that yet, but that's what I think might work. And um, I still have to figure out how to double tongue. Figure out. I still need to figure out how to circular breathe on the higher notes. But it's definitely a tool that can be sharpened, and I don't think anybody's really sharpened it all the way yet. But it's definitely anything you want to do with circular breathing is basically possible if you, if you figure out a way. So there are some downsides of circular breathing. Um, once you be able to use it, you're going to want to use it a lot, and then you're only going to rely on it. So you're going to—it's easier because you get to practice like these pieces, and you don't have to breathe at all through it. You can just circular breathe the whole time. But the thing is, you develop poor air support if you don't focus on your air. So I would. Here's my advice if I was to go back and learn circular breathing again. I would only use it sparingly and only use it when I have to. I would rely on the main breath because if you get a really good breath from like the diaphragm, you're gonna sound better than when you're circular breathing. Another thing is when you're circular breathing, it kind of messes up your embouchure. I, I guess there is a way to fix that, but you would really have to focus on keeping these quarters tight while somehow inhaling it out here. Like, like you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get enough air. Well, you could try, it's definitely possible, but I haven't tested that strategy or theory out. But you're, you're, it messes up your armature, then you end up biting because all the pressure is going this way and the pressure that's going right here is being released because you're having the air out. That's why they say don't really puff your cheeks out while you're playing, I, I'm assuming. You don't, you lose armature control. Um, and because of that, your chops die a little bit faster because it's it's not an even um, even pressure. So that's something to be aware of. It's not that huge of a problem, but it's, it certainly can be a problem if you start using it a bunch. So I would personally write in breath marks for songs unless you really you have to circular breathe because getting a Get circular breathing versus getting a good breath. A good breath will always be better than circular breathing. But circular breathing is impressive and necessary for some pieces. And it's a good tool for practicing. 
I say it's a tool and I wouldn't rely on it even though that's all I do. That's a bad habit. Do not only rely on circular breathing. You, it's not, it, it will not benefit you in the long run. What's another good one? 